Hey guys, Friendly Neighborhood One Piece fan here. Because there aren't already enough opinions on the internet, uh, I just wanted to uh, give mine on how I feel about the two One Piece live action trailers. Uh, just a little background, I'm a, I'm a huge One Piece fan. I, I just recently caught up to the manga. Um, so it's pretty fresh on my mind. And for the rest of this episode, there are going to be spoilers for the first 61 episodes of the anime. So if you're not interested in that, Get out of here right now. So, let's address the elephant in the room. Anime live actions suck most of the time. There have obviously been exceptions, but those are not the rule. They are exceptions. Uh, you know, like all these... They sucked. Uh, but, I'm willing to suspend my disbelief. Uh, Ichiro Oda, the original author of One Piece, had a lot of uh, insight on making the series, uh, and as someone who loves his story, uh, I'm willing to suspend my disbelief that it sucks until I experience it for myself, uh, but there are some things in the trailers that give me a little worry, uh, but there are also some things in the trailer that give me a lot of hope that this is going to be, that this could like, you know, this could break the status quo of them sucking. But I'd like to start with what's good, because this is not going to be a video of me bitching the whole time. I think the trailers have a lot going for them, in terms of, you know, what looks good. Um, the sets look great. Like, the uh, Barati looks awesome. Uh, Windmill Island looks very cool, like a humble little town. Uh, so I think it's very cool that they were able to kind of translate that to live action. I think the casting for a lot of the Straw Hats we currently know is really nice. To name a few uh, that I thought stood out, uh, Inaki Godoy, Emily Rudd, Jacob Romero, I think they are like next level castings uh, for Luffy, Nami, and Usopp. I think they are awesome. I think it was a good call. Uh, especially Emily Rudd and Jacob Romero. I mean, that's just, it's just, Usopp and Nami look so good in most of the scenes they're in. Um, with a minor exception, but we'll get to that later. And if you're one of those freaks that's complaining about Nami's boob size, you need to go outside for the first time in years and let sun touch your irises. Freak. You're a freak. Moving on, I think that moment where Buggy uses his Chop Chop fruit, uh, and it's like flying all around him and pieces of his body are coming off, I think that looks super clean. You can tell the actor playing Buggy is really, really giving it his all in that moment. And when Luffy's fighting Arlong, that the Gumma Gum Gatling, I think, also looks really, really nice. Um, they really translated the kind of rubber hose smear lines from One Piece into live action, I think, pretty successfully in that one shot, at least. The Easter eggs at the end of the second trailer with the wanted posters for Bellamy, Foxy, and Cavendish are, uh, that's, you know, fun little touches. I mean, there's the Alvita one, but it's pretty... Uh, front and center. I wouldn't exactly call it an Easter egg. And there are some things that obviously had to be changed for live action. You know, I won't say that there's not. Not everything can be exactly the same. Uh, the call not to give Usopp a Pinocchio nose was a good call. So, good call on their part. Um, but there are some things that really stuck out while I was watching it. Uh, maybe it's because it's fresh in my mind where I've just recently finished it. Disclaimer, I know this is subject to change, but this is all I have to work with, so whatever. One of my top gripes is Arlong. They nerfed my boy so bad. Arlong is this built... He's jacked, he's tall, he's intimidating because he's big. In the manga and the anime, he's 8'7". He's huge. And in the live action, he's... Barely taller, if at all taller, than Luffy, who's 5'8". They shrimped my boy. They turned him into R's short, my god! And Shanks, he's not in it for very long, but he looks goofy. They gave him a Three Stooges hat. Why is the hat so little? It's sitting on top of his head. Like I said earlier, I think Emily Rudd is a perfect cast as Nami. But why did they have to do that? to her hair. Why are they doing this weird artificial 
orange, like, I don't really understand, like, why, it's like, it's like the, it's been dyed for a while, and it's starting to wear off on the top, and it's brown, and the rest of her hair is orange, like, she has close to naturally, uh, red, orange hair in real life, and since we're going for more realism in a lot of our characters, obviously, why not just keep her hair that color? It looks so much better. Like, this headshot of her, when it was announced that she would be playing Nami, looks so much better. Another huge character tragedy is Gold Roger. Why, 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 why did they do that to him? They make him seem like this sinister, like, spooky character with this, like, weird kind of spooky Halloween music over him. And, like, I know he's a pirate. But he looks like this. This kind of robust, larger-than-life king of pirates. And they gave us an extra from Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, I need a grandiose king of pirates. Not this dude. <laughs> and it has to be my number one grape. And honestly, in the grand scale, it's not a huge deal. But it is. It is a huge deal. Sanji has... Two defining characteristics, physically. He's super tall and long, and he has curly eyebrows. They took away his curly eyebrow without any sort of attempt to recreate it. That's one of his number one things. His curly eyebrow. And I know, it's like, oh, Usopp has a long nose. Yeah, but people, there's no way for that to exist in real life. P people with Pinocchio noses can't be real. But you're telling me you couldn't have makeup on like a little curl? Some sort of stylized little curl? People draw their eyebrows on every day. Even if you gave him like a little curl at the end. Because it allows for that dynamic between Zoro and Sanji of him making fun of his green hair and him making fun of his curly eyebrows. And that's where they butt heads a lot. So they took away his curly eyebrows. But even worse than that, they made him British! They made him British! Not every show needs a British person! Why is he British? All of his moves are in French! Collier shoot! Flambeji shot! Why is he British? They're all French! Make him French! Make him uh, anything but British! They're not... <gasps> British people aren't this disparaged group that need to be represented. There doesn't always need to be British people. British people aren't cool. Anything but. He doesn't need to be British. God, my head's gonna explode. To finish this off, this is not a complaint. This is a desperate plea to whatever God is listening. No licensed music. At all. No licensed music. Please. I need, at the very end of an episode, you know, we are! I need that. That's important. It's iconic. One Piece's music is so good for its moments where it's serious and moments where it's whimsical. They've had the same music in their episodes for 20-some-odd years. I don't want to hear Freebird when Luffy gum gum rockets up to the top of the tower where Axe Hand Morgan is to knock his statue down. I don't need that. I don't want that. I don't want to hear Highway to Hell when Zoro is fighting Mihawk at the Barati. I want their OSTs because it's so good. I want that good shit. No licensed music. That shit sucks. I don't want them anywhere near here. Am I clear? But, all in all, I think that there's a lot of potential here. Uh, there's a lot I'm excited for, and a lot that is honestly just kind of tragic, if I'm being honest. Uh, but I have hope that Oda did not compromise on his vision even once, like he said. He didn't compromise on his vision even once during the production of this. And let's hope his live-action vision is just as clean as his cartoon vision. Thanks for listening to me rant about cartoons. Uh, let me know what you think down below, whether you agree, disagree, maybe something that uh, you feel I didn't touch on. Uh, 
All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.